Apostle JP. Dear viewers, welcome again to yet another episode. And today, the Lord Jesus Christ has inspired me to preach on a message titled, The Healing Word. Last week, when I was preaching this message in a crusade, a woman who has been bleeding since September got healed just by this word. And I believe that everybody who is watching, it doesn't matter whatever disease, sickness, virus, infection you are suffering from, the Lord Jesus Christ is about to heal you, set you free, deliver you, and give you a brand new life. Viewers, get ready, get excited, and by faith, you can receive right now. I will be right back to deliver the message to you. May God bless you. God gives you more anointing, also need to prepare for more fighting. Because for you to get to the next level, you must defeat the next devil. Every level is attacked by devils. You can't arrive at the next level without defeating the next devil. Praise the Lord and blessed be his holy name. Wow. This is a wonderful message that the Lord Jesus Christ has given me. I'm believing God with you for your healing. And two believers are better than one. As I, as I believe God with you in this message, you are about to be healed, totally healed and set free. In this episode, I'll be ministering mostly to those who are sick and oppressed by demons. And our message today is titled, The Healing Word. It is coming from the book of Matthew, chapter number 8, verse 16. Matthew 8, verse 16. And I read, When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon-possessed, and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. May God bless the reading of his word. The Bible says, He casted out the spirit with a word, and then healed them. Dear viewer, dear sons of God, understand this. There is no healing without deliverance. Deliverance is when you are going to the root cause of what is causing the sickness. So if you don't attack it from the root cause, then there is no healing. Now Jesus Christ, knowing how it was, he went straight by, what, what did he do? He casted out the demons first. So Jesus Christ began in this evening by casting out the demons from all who were sick and demon oppressed. Then the Bible says, as he casted out the demons, then he healed them all. But something shocked me. The Bible says, he casted the demon with the word. Which means, the word has the power to send out unclean spirits from your body. But why was Jesus Christ casting out the demons before healing them? And, and, and the Lord made me to understand that it was the demons that were behind the sickness. So, behind every sickness, there's a demon. There's a demon of HIV. There's a demon of cancer. There's a demon of suicide. There's a demon of depression. There's a demon of sugar. There's a demon of high blood pressure. Behind every sickness, there's a demon. So that is why Jesus Christ went straight to the point and casted out the demons with a word. Then they were healed. Which means, if the demon is not casted out, you will struggle to be healed. And the Bible says, he casted it out with a word. Which means, Today, as I minister the word of God, those demons, those sickness will leave you. Now, demons were the cause of the sickness. So, when Jesus Christ comes into a, into a sick person's life, he attacked the sickness from the cause. The Bible says, the thief come to steal, to kill and to destroy, but I have come that you may have life and have it in abundance. So, the thief's agenda here is to make sure that you are sick, that you suffer, that you struggle and doubt God. But God's agenda is that you are born again, that you have life and have it to the full, which means that you'll be born again and still enjoy your life here on earth. As a deliverance minister, my responsibility, my assignment today is to cast out every demon responsible for the sickness in your body. And today, I believe God with you. Bible says two believers are better than one. And on this day, as we pray together with you, you are about to be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. If demons are the cause, it means everything that is uncomfortable, that makes you sick, that makes you poor, that makes you struggle, is not of God. The Bible says God is good, which means if God is good, God cannot bring sickness in your family. 
Some people believe that now maybe God is punishing me for all the mistakes I've done. God is punishing me for all the sins I've committed. That's a wrong doctrine. God does not punish his children with sickness. God does not punish his children with poverty. Sickness is an affliction from the devil. It's an affliction from hell. And today, God has sent me to tell you that he loves you. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever, black or white, that whosoever, tall or short, that whosoever, light or dark, believeth in him, shall not perish, but what? Shall have everlasting life. Oh my God, I came today to enforce the will of God upon your life. And the will of God today for you is that you are healed and you are set free. That bleeding, the cause is demon. That poverty, the demons are causing it. Oh my God, you are struggling to sleep at night? Insomnia, how they call it? Stress? Depression? Suicidal thoughts? Marital problems, pain, disappointment, failure is not from God. The root cause is demonic. The Bible says this, that is that, that, that how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And I have the power. And the Bible says, and he went about doing good. Today, God has sent me to minister the good news to you. And the good news today is this. I sent forth my word and I healed your disease. I sent forth my word and I healed your disease. Psalm 107 verse 20 said, He sent his word and he healed their, their, their disease. Today, I come with the word of God. The Bible says, Then Jesus Christ casted out the demons with a word. Today, you demons behind sickness, hear the word of the Lord. Come out of them and let them be. And let them be free. You see, sickness is a sign that there is a dark spirit after you. Sickness is a sign that there is a dark spirit after you. And today, oh my God, I pray for you. Viewers all over the world, whether you are watching me from right now, what have doctors said about your case? How you feel in your body right now? You are watching me from hospital bed. You are watching me and you are sick. You are on chronic medication. You are watching me and, and doctors have given up on you. I came with this message. When I preached this message last week, a woman who has been bleeding since September got healed. And today we went to her home as, as, as we recorded her testimony and she testified of how the Lord Jesus Christ touched her in one instant and she was healed. I'm believing God now. You are watching me and you are bleeding. You are watching me and you are having migraine headaches. You are watching me and you are having inability to conceive. They call it barrenness. You are watching me and, and you are in a wheelchair. You are watching me, you have ear problem, eye problem, heart problem, cancer, HIV, COVID, liver problem. Never a problem God cannot solve. Never a problem Jesus Christ cannot fix. Right now, I join my faith with your faith. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Viewer, right now, the Lord Jesus Christ set you free. The power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost is coming upon you. I release the power. I release the power right now. Right now, listen to the voice of Jesus Christ. I sent my word and I heal your disease. Right now, viewer, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I channel the healing power of God from my hands through the television waves to your house, to your room, to that hospital bed, wherever you are right now, at the count of three, the power of God is about to move. It's coming. One, two, three. Holy Ghost, touch them now. Be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. Receive the power. Receive the power. That sickness is leaving you. Those demons are leaving you. That curse is breaking. The power of the Lord is touching you now. God's power. Receive. Receive. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for their healing. Go ahead right now and send us a message. If you have been touched by the message, if if you have been healed, send us a message right now and testify of what God has done. Begin to do what you couldn't do. Let the blind begin to see. Let Let the crippled begin to walk. Miracles are happening. Do what you couldn't do. 
The miracles have taken place already. Testimony is coming your way. I will be right back. And when I come back, I will continue to pray for you and minister the word of God to you. God bless you. Welcome back. You are welcome back. Let us have a look at Romans 8 verse 11. There was a time I was sick and doctors could not heal me. I remember a pastor visiting me and giving me this scripture. It changed my entire life. And throughout, as I've been traveling all over the world doing crusades and healing the sick, this is the biggest miracle I have given. I, I, the, this is the biggest scripture that God has used to perform miracles. In throughout my ministry of crusades. Romans 8 verse 11. Let's look at it. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 11, But if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through the same spirit who dwells in you. And the Lord told me here that the Holy Spirit is a life giver. I know science and technology says this, that your white blood cells are what fight sickness out of your body. That your white blood cells are what fight diseases out of your body. Then the, the, the Bible says here that if the spirit of Hitler is Christ of the dead lives in you, which means the moment your white blood cells can, can no longer fight the sickness, the spirit of God in you can fight the sickness. And the Bible says it gives life to your mortal body, which means you are watching me right now. You have dead organs, kidney failure, heart failure. I don't know. You, you, maybe you, you're suffering from kind of disability. You cannot hear. You can't see. You can't talk. Whatever you are going through, I minister to you right now. The Bible says, if the spirit of he that raised Christ from the dead dwells in you right now, by the Holy Spirit, I declare and decree life in your organs. In the name of Jesus Christ, dear viewer, which part of your body is not functioning well? Today I come with a, with a word from Romans 8 verse 11. The, 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 the spirit of God that raised Christ from the dead, that is a life giver, is giving life to your body right now. Viewers all over the world, receive the word of the Lord. Any area of your life that you are feeling pain, that is dead, Maybe your one eye is not working. Your one ear is not working. Liver, kidney. What is it? Lungs. Right now. You organ. Hear the voice of the Lord. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Dry bones shall live again. I speak to you dead organs. I speak to your part, that part of your body that is not functioning. By divine command, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ra -da 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 -da. In the name of Jesus Christ, I can sense the power of God moving. The ministering angels are released, and that incurable disease is leaving your body. For Jesus Christ is the master physician, Jesus Christ is the greatest doctor. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh my Lord. I can see power coming into your legs. You are watching me. You've been having like this wound. This wound that has, that has been failing to heal. 
I command it to dry up in the name of Jesus Christ. There's been like weakness in your legs and you can't walk. You are struggling to walk. You are using walking aids. You are in a wheelchair. Oh, child of God, jump out <laughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. This, you, are you having this spinal cord problem? Like back pains? Like sharp pains are in your leg? Like piercing you? You have like piercing pain? Oh, I love you, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ loves you so much. And is taking away that sickness, that pain, that affliction from your body right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lava Shatter. That you, you, you have been sick in and out of hospital and doctors don't know the cause. Hey, suicidal thoughts. You think, you think like killing yourself? Father, I thank you for healing them. God, I've just healed you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, child of God. It, it's a sensitive time. I feel the power of God moving right now. Hey, you are that person. You are saying, oh, man of God. I don't know. I, I, I would love to have my own baby. But doctors said it's impossible. They say I am barren. The God of, uh, Omar, the God of Hannah, the God of, the, the, the God of Mary, the God of Sarah is touching you. Oh, and receive the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus Christ. That problem in your love life, that problem in your marriage, that problem in your house, God is healing it right now in the name of Jesus Oh, there's somebody you are standing in a gap for someone in your family who is sick right now. I believe God right now with you that it is happening for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit, for their healing. Child of God, you are healed. I saw the power of God enter you. Go ahead right now and send us your testimony. Or say, man of God, when you are praying, the power of God touched me and I, I am healed. Begin to do what you couldn't do. Test yourself. Do what you couldn't do. And you can right now also say, man of God, I want you to continue to pray for me. Send us a prayer request and I'll continue to pray for you. You can go ahead and say, I would love to speak to man of God one-on-one. -on -one. Go ahead and book to speak to me one-on-one -on -one, and I'll see you one-on-one. -on -one. And those of you who are saying, I want to be mentored by Apostle JP. I want Apostle JP to mentor and train me into the prophetic and in ministry. Go ahead also and register for the mentorship school and God is going to bless you. Thank you so much. My name is Apostle JP MD9. I'm the Apostle of Power and I'm signing out. Brakada. Peace. Are you called by God? Do you feel like I want to be mentored in the prophetic? Man of God, I have I feel like I have the call of God. I've been feeling it in my I've been seeing it in my dreams. I've been dreaming praying for the sick. I've been dreaming, prophesying, and preaching to large crowds. But man of God, I don't know what is my calling, what is my spiritual gift. Well, God has asked me right now to run what you call the International School of Seers. The school where I will mentor servants of God and release them out into ministry. Don't miss this opportunity. Register right now on the WhatsApp number on your screen and, and, and come to the International School of Seers where I will take time to personally mentor, train, educate, coach, and release you out in the ministry. May God bless you. See you there. Thank you, Papa, and your team for giving me this opportunity to share my testimony. My name is Mary Mujaje. Yeah, I got the problem. Actually, I experienced bleeding since November last year. Also, the back pain, uh, the swollen feet. So, I didn't know how that happened. Uh, I had to it was a, a period of three months, I think, by then, uh, bleeding every day, and it was so uncomfortable. Then, Mem uh, Pinani happened to invite me to the crusade. At the time when Papa was healing the sick, he prophesied that there is somebody who, is a, who has a problem with the bleeding. Mm -hmm. Then I came out. Uh, 
he was able to tell me that uh, I also had the problem of the back pain and the feet also. So ever since then, everything stopped. What's, what really surprised me is that he even tells me that after ha by half past five, then if every the bleeding will stop. What I did, I went straight to the toilet by that time. I didn't know why, but I was going to check. Then immediately, I think it was about 10 minutes after that, I could see there was no, that there was no blood. I was completely healed. I had to go to consult doctors. I think it was, it's about, it was about five times. So the medic, they, it was different doctors. Uh, they gave me different medications. I tried them, but they couldn't work. So you can imagine uh, having bleeding every day. It was so uncomfortable. Uh, I, th I even experiencing losing weight. And one of the doctors tells me that uh, um, that's because you are losing a lot of war. That that's because I'm losing a lot of blood. So. God did it for me that I'm now completely healed. Are you called by God? Do you feel like I want to be mentored in the prophetic. Man of God, I, have, I feel like I have the call of God. I've been feeling it in my, I've been seeing it in my dreams. I've been dreaming praying for the sick. I've been dreaming prophesying and preaching to large crowds. But man of God, I don't know what is my calling, what is my spiritual gift. Well, God have asked me right now to run what you call the International School of Seers. The school where I will mentor servants of God and release them out into ministry. Don't miss this opportunity. Register right now on the WhatsApp number on your screen and, and, and come to the International School of Sears where I will take time to personally mentor, train, educate, coach and release you out in the ministry. May God bless you. See you there.